Yeah, we we 50 years of hip hop. You keep saying 30 years you've been in it. You've been in it the majority of your life. Mm -hmm. But hip hop for people like me and you, it's been our entire life. Right. You know, hip hop is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year. Um, shout to Cool Herc, shout to the to, to the legends, Grandmaster Flash, all of the guys who came before us. Um, but it was an interesting conversation. I, I I don't know the name of the podcast, but it's Shaq's podcast, and he had Jamal Crawford on it. Mm. And Jamal Crawford said he feels that Jay Z's impact mm. in the world of hip hop supersedes. Eminem's album sales. So Jay might not have sold as many albums as Eminem, but his impact is greater than Eminem's in the world of hip hop. Now that What's right your there is a great debate because they both have very powerful impacts on hip hop and not just music, other ventures, other ways they affected the culture, fashion, movies. They did different things, but they're both impactful. So Jamal Crawford, one of the illest ball handlers in the game, but his perspective is, is his perspective. You know what I'm saying? Ask that to one of these white kids in Detroit about Eminem and Jay-Z, and then you're going to see the answer you get. Everybody got their own opinion. Let me ask mm -hmm. you a question. You like Mercedes Benz or BMW better? I'm a Mercedes dude. Okay. But it depends who you ask. Because okay, I love them both, actually. That's what I'm saying. It's the same shit. Two, same thing. Two, yep. two great brands. The S550, the 750. Which one you taking? It's like, I don't give a fuck. I jump with either of them shits. Them shits is popping. Yep. Jay Z, yep. I mean, it's the same shit. You you can't. There's no debate on that. They just both have powerful impacts on hip hop. Nah, it is it, so true. Everything you said. This is the great debate in hip hop. It really is. Everybody, depending on who you ask, they going they gonna have their own opinion and they gonna stick up for the person that impacted their life more. Now, for Needless me, to say, my perspective. I would say for where I'm from, Jay-Z had a bigger impact to me. Musically first, like I gravitate to Jay-Z's music more than I do Eminem. Eminem's a great artist, always represent Onyx. Love, uh, he's dope, no question. But I'm from Southside, Jamaica, Queens, Brooklyn. I'm a Brooklyn nigga. So you see, you see what, what I'm a, you see what I'm a like. But I can't take his Eminem's impact saying that's bigger than Jay-Z. That's I can't say that. Mm -hmm. Eminem put last days in eight mile. That's directly to me because I did that beat last days. Yep. So yep. his impact to me, I'm feeling that shit too. There's different parts of why I feel like, you know what I mean? It's like this, man. Mercedes, BMW. It's, to me, it's even. It's even. Needless to say, his boy Fifty Cent, he jumped out there and held his man um, Eminem down. But I'm a jump in like, the. Nah. I'm, me personally, I'm a jump in the BM. I'm a BM type nigga. I, I, I'll take the 750 over the S5. It, and I have both of them, so that's just me. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Nah, it's a great debate. You know, you know what's crazy because you brought up, you brought up um, that joint, that song. You produced that song. Last in days. eight mile, right? Yeah. 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 So you had a chance to work firsthand with, with M. Exactly. Dope. Matter of fact, Sticky. Did don't Sticky didn't he have a song with um Eminem? He got, he got two songs with what Eminem. What if I was white? He got What If I Was White with Eminem and he got Remember Me with Eminem, RBX. Because people don't know Sticky was about to get signed to Aftermath. Oh, Sticky was living in LA for about two months. They had him up in a hotel, and he was in he was in a bidding war with Universal, and Dre had him working on some joints. That's how he got with uh, Eminem to do the RBX record because he was around the camp. I was around the camp too, you know. I was there, 
You know, I was already in LA doing Moesha and doing the movie shit. So I was already in LA anyway. So when he got with Dre, you know, he was in the studio with them a lot. A lot, a mm -hmm. lot of studio sessions. You know what I'm saying? So shout to Dre, Eminem. Yeah, why that deal never went through? This is the first time I'm even hearing that. Um, Universal was, they basically doubled the money, the upfront money. And at the time, you know, being young, you know, when niggas talking, when the niggas talking M's, it's like, you know, you, you gonna gravitate towards the money. I told them, I told Sticky, nigga, fuck the money. Get with Dre, bro. I'm telling you. Get with Dre. Cause we was already rocking with them niggas already. We was already in the mix. You know what I'm saying? I think he said Sticky album will probably come out a year later or something. And Sticky wanted to like rush his project. But I think the move with Dre would have been way iller. But the Universal move was dope. You know what I'm saying? It was dope. He did his thing. Great album. Um, Black Trash. Classic. And that's another thing. I just saw this, this 50. I don't know who made this list. The 50th best rappers list, right? Mm -hmm. Listen. I ain't got to be on the list. I know I'm nice and a lot of them niggas on the list. I know that. But Sticky Fingers not on the, the best 50 rappers is, is kind of like bugged out to me. Mm -hmm. Jada Kiss was like 46. 46 out of 50 Jada Kiss? Yo, Yo he who? was really 46 on that list? Yes. Rick Ross was oh number 50 God. on the list. Who wrote this list? <laughs> who wrote this <laughs> shit? Jada Kiss, 46? Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm just, I'm going to speak up. That's crazy. And Sticky not on the list. Come on, son. Out of 50 rappers, Sticky will burn half them niggas. I will burn half them niggas, but Stick, you know, Stick is that, he's that dude. You know what I'm saying? That's why yep. he's on records with Eminem. And I think the record he did with Eminem, or my, my, my partake, I think he bodied Eminem on that particular record. That's just my opinion. And I'm not being biased. I just think he... I think Eminem put that cop that that competitive thing inside of Sticky, and he came off one of the illest verses ever. You know what I'm saying? And Eminem brought that out of him. See, people forget just how dope and how lyrical Sticky was, or is for that matter. Exactly. People forget. Exactly. So you you saying Eminem is one of the best rappers ever? The nigga rocking the Onyx shirt in the, the documentary, sticking with one of my favorite rap, he's always saying that. So, you feel what I'm saying? So if he thinks he's, if he's part of his favorite rappers, how he not on the 50 list? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We should let Eminem write the 50 list. <laughs>